Hello again, this is Andrew Culkin, and I am the author of Amanda, A Cautionary Tale of Alcoholism. It's the story of my wife's 20-year decline with alcoholism and her untimely passing a little over three years ago. Now, today I want to talk about something that's very important for family members. Um, certainly, I went through every, every one of these, but I want to talk about the emotions that family members go through who are either family members or have a loved one or a close friend or have some association with someone who is suffering from alcoholism in its various stages. Now, emotionally, you're going to go through a lot of different stages. Uh, you know, specifically in stage one or two, where someone has created a habit and you're watching them create this habit, there's going to be a lot of uh, emotionally disappointment. And you may even try to lecture that person, you know, may, hey, maybe you should slow down or, you know, maybe we should bring this and talk about this. Uh, and it's going to be, and you're going to be on like a rational level because the, the stages are early. Um, it may be a parent-child relationship where the parents are going, you know, we, we notice that you're, you know, you're going out a lot. You know, maybe we ought to curb this. And emotionally, there will be disappointment and, you know, maybe a little, a little bit of frustration. Now, the later levels... And I hope most people don't have to go through these later levels of uh, late stage two, stage three, where someone is completely uh, reliant on alcoholism and there is no more, there is no longer any rational thought process for the most part. Uh, there will be times of sobriety with the alcoholic, but there will be nothing but disappointment, unfortunately. Uh, and you have to realize that these the plethora of emotions that you're going to go through from rage, outrage, um, anger, just just full on rage. Um, I mean, I could give you an example. Um, my wife, at one point, in fact, I wrote a chapter about this. Um, she had been, she had disappeared for like two days. We didn't know where she was, uh, and I was in the garage. I have a, a little lounge in the garage, and we had little windows in the garage where you could look out and I could hear a vehicle coming down the street and it sounded like, you know, our, our truck, we had a BMW X5. And I looked out the window and uh, <laughs> I could see the grill coming up the driveway of, of the truck. And I realized there, and I had a sense that that grill <laughs> wasn't stopping. And I could tell that there were no brakes put on the vehicle. So I jumped out of the way. And the moment I jumped out of the way, uh, she blew through the garage door, uh, the aluminum garage door. And the only thing that stopped it was the frame of the garage door wrapped around the bumper of the truck and the wheels were spinning. I ran around the front of the truck and was able to put her, take her foot off the, the, uh, the gas pedal because she was completely passed out in the front seat driving, driving this truck. Um, emotions like that, where you're just, you're, it's so outrageous and so unexpected that you have to realize that these kinds of emotions cannot consume you. And you have to be able to identify and learn to live with them or part ways with the problem. Um, I hope that helps, you know, because I know there's a lot of, I mean, I could tell you a hundred different stories. And most people who are family members of alcoholics could tell you a lot of different stories. Emotionally, you have to take care of yourself, is the whole point of this video. You have to learn to not concentrate on that person all the time, and you have to take care of yourself because you don't want to go down with the ship. <laughs> and I hope, hope that helps some people that are going through very difficult situations, knowing that you're not alone and, and that other people have experienced that. Now, again, the book is coming out in the fall of 2023. Uh, and I have a whole coaching program that's going to be going along with it to help families and loved ones and, and, and hopefully the alcoholics themselves to some extent. Um, uh, again, you can go to the website. It's www.amandaacautionarytale.com. Happy Friday. Thanks for listening.